are you doing today? Just do a little bit because oh, we had two seizures last night, didn't we? We've got to sit the around. So we're all feeling a little bit tired. Move your legs around, go on. We'll just do a little short bit. But maybe we'll just have a little look at some visual scanning in a magazine. Mm. Is there anything that particular? Let's have a look. The History Magazine, March 21. Now then, if you were to look at the cover, let's have a look at the, the titles there we've got. Crusading Queens, the Medieval Women Who Fought for Jerusalem, Revolution on the Western Front, the military transformation that brought the Allies victory in the First World War. We've got another one there, William the Conqueror's Forgotten Enemy. We've got the Tudors, the origin story. Look, we've got another feature, the ultimate Victorian, Elizabeth Barrett Browning's Remarkable Life. And then we've got at the bottom, you show me at the bottom we've got the mm. new research Vikings under the microscope have science is transforming our understanding of the Norse Raiders so if you were to think about all of those things which one grabs your attention the most what would you think that you'd like to um, look at oh the crusading queens the medieval women who fought for Jerusalem. So we'll have a look inside and we'll find the um, index and see if we can find where that would be. So we're looking for the medieval queens, the crusading queens. Now, this is a lot to scan. Can you have a look? And see if you can find anywhere where it says about the crusading queens that ruled and fought in Jerusalem. It's a little bit hard. I, even I found, found it hard to find it. But have a little look. I'm going to make it easier for you, Chris. I, I'll just show you one page. It is on this page. So it's on this page somewhere. Have a look and see if you can find it. Yes, that's right, 34. Learn about the lives of the powerful crusading queens who ruled mm. and fought in Jerusalem. And there's a picture. So what we need to do now is to find page 34. And the page number is well. Where? where is the page number? Where's the page number? Oh, it, it, it's at the bottom there. So that's number 5. Now, so... We need to find page 34. Let's just turn a few over at a time. Oh look, see that's very small, a two and a three. We want three and a four, don't we? Oh, 25, 27, 29, 31. That's all about the other. Yes. Oh look. 33. So you turn over one more page. Oh, there's a dog there, yeah. Turn over one more page, just one, to see if you can manage. Can you turn over one, one page? Look, hold it up, turn it over. Oh, there we are, look. The Queendom of Jerusalem. Oh. Now then, it says, we'll read it together. For centuries, accounts of the Crusades have left out one key element, the actions of women. Catherine Pangonis chronicles the lives of the formidable queens who ruled and fought in Jerusalem. Oh, so we're talking about... We're talking about... What are we talking about? Q. Go for the U. U. E. 
E N. We're talking about queens, yeah, and the place is it's a long one. Just be good at practicing though. J E straight to the R. J J E R U S all the way for the A A and then the L L E and um, yeah, we're just getting warmed up today. We're just practicing a little bit because I know it may be a bit tricky for you today. So we're talking about queens of Jerusalem. Mm. Does this surprise you that the um, crusades, that the queens were involved in crusades? Mm. Why? E. Yes, mm, it surprises me as well. I thought it would be. Uh, when you think of crusades, you think of knights and things like that. So I, I'm quite curious to find out a little bit more. I can see why you chose this. And there's. And we'll just have a look at this picture. We'll scan this picture. It says a medieval illustration of women fighting and toiling alongside men during a siege. The Kingdom of Jerusalem's female rulers played a vital role in the Crusades, but they've been historically overlooked. So, so can you touch one of the women, one of the queens on the picture? Just show me one of the women on the picture. Oh yes, there, look, and she's got a, a weapon, she's holding something that looks a bit like an axe, isn't it? Yeah, and there's more. They've got, they look like rocks that they're throwing to attack. Mm. So, let's turn over the page. We're trying to just one. There we are. Oh, I can see you looking at the pictures. So we'll, we'll have a little chat about the pictures. They always draw my attention first. So we'll start off with this one. Heavy losses. 15th century miniature showing the Battle of Hattin. Queen Sibylia's husband, Guy de Lusignan, was captured in the fight and her army was destroyed. Oh, so she had an army. There's all the people there. And what's this one? Oh, Twisting the Past. Eva Green as Sibylia in the 2000 film Kingdom of Heaven. Jerusalem's queens have been victims of Orientalism in popular cult culture. Oh, we'll have to read what that means a bit more. Then this one. There's the queen. Touch her crown, just for practice. Oh, no, a bit, a bit over. There it is. There's the crown. You touch it. The crown. There, yeah. Baldwin III in a manuscript. He waged war on his mother, Queen Melisende, when she refused to give up the rule of Jerusalem to him. Ooh, let's have a little read, shall we? There's a little quote to grab our attention, to read the quote. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could you summarise that for me? Tell me what it means. Or just change your own words. Summarise it for me. S H E C F E L T she felt S H E she felt she she this is really good she felt she I'm just asking you to kind of summarise or put into your own words that quote that you saw she felt she Go on. What? 
Maybe. Oh, on this one. Sorry, they're distracting, aren't they? On this one. She fell, she. H. A. T. Hat. T. O. To. B. E. To B. L. I. Go on. Keep it going. You're doing so well. L. I. You're doing so well. K. E. Like. Just curl those fingers under. Like. She felt. She. Hang on. To. Be. Like. Go on. A. M A N. She felt she had to be like A. And yeah, the quote was Though a woman, I seemed a warrior. Though filled with fear, I learned to conceal my weakness. Mm. There. Let's just have a read of a bit. We'll stop. Very small print, so I'll read it to you and then we'll have a chat about it. On the 2nd of October, 1187, Jerusalem, the holy city held by Christians for four generations and the prize of the First Crusade, fell to the Sultan Saladin after a short siege. Okay. The Christians were outnumbered ten to one but the city held out long enough for favourable terms to be negotiated. Jerusalem was defended by an unlikely trio, Patriarch Heraclius, a high-ranking religious official, a knight named Bolion of Ibelin, and Sibylia, Queen of Jerusalem, who had been crowned only a year earlier following the deaths of her male relatives. Between them they made a robust defence against all impossible odds. Food stores and sanitation in the city were under great strain and they had next to no trained knights or men-at-arms. The army had been destroyed nearly three months previously at the Battle of Hattin where Sibylla's husband had been taken captive. An ordinary woman called Margaret of Beverley, who had come to Jerusalem on a pilgrimage, had been trapped in the city as Saladin advanced. Wearing a cooking pot as a helmet, Margaret helped to defend the city. She related, I carried out all the functions of a soldier that I could. I wore the breastplate like a man. I came and went on the ramparts with a cauldron on my head for a helmet. Though a woman, I seemed a warrior. I threw the weapon, though filled with fear, I learned to conceal my weakness. Ah, so that quote that we read, could you remember the lady's name, her first name? M A R G a R that's not right E and all the way down to the T. Yeah, her first name was was Margaret. And what did she use to protect her head? What did she use to protect her head? Instead of a helmet, she used a A what? Uh, o A A. Okay, you get a little bit stuck. 
I shall tell you this time. She used a cauldron, and a cauldron is just like a, a an old-fashioned word for a pan, type of a pan, cooking pot. So let's just practice the word pan, P-A-N. Let's just practice it, P-A-N. P-A-N-N. Do you think we could do that? Practice it flat as well. So we'll touch the P on here, one letter at a time. Now touch the P on that one. Oh, one, one of P, then A on here. There's the A. Now one there. Very nice. And then N. Now N. Straight to the A. Oh, very good. I like that. You did so well. So she she had a kind of a pan on her head. She did really, really well there. To protect it. Nevertheless, historians have disputed the role of women in the siege of Jerusalem. And indeed, what part of Queen Sibylla has what part Queen Sibylla herself played in the strategy and defence of the city, with many reluctant to give her much credit. This is part of a wider trend of historians, not including women, in the, their accounts of the past. Why do you think that might be? T H E H I S T O R I A N S the historians the historians M go on M A Y, may, B, E, may, B, B, yeah that makes sense, B, what, is it N or I, you're hovering between the two, I, A, this is good, S or Z, you were hovering there, S, E and must be D. D, the historians may be biased. The historians may be biased. Yeah. So why leave women out of the accounts here? Yeah. Mm. The role that women played in commanding sieges in the Mid Latin East is well documented, mm -hmm. and at least one contemporary source places Sibylla in Jerusalem during the siege. It is natural that she, as Queen Regnant, the highest status figure in the city, would have taken a commanding role. Sibylla had the authority to command. Balian, the military expertise to, to strategize, and Heraclius controlled the city's funds. As Jerusalem citizens fought to repel the attackers from the walls, inside the city, listen to this, women shaved their heads, repented, and begged for salvation. All the men who could fight in Jerusalem were knighted, to boost their confidence and galvanise them in their fight against the enemy. But it was to no avail. When the walls began to collapse and resistance became hopeless, the commanders decided to negotiate terms of surrender. The best that Sibylla, Balian and Heraclius could hope for was the survival and freedom of the Christians within the city and Sibylla's personal safety. On the brink of defeat, they were not in a strong bargaining position. Despite this, Saladillon did agree to the offer of surrender, 
He did not have much choice. When he initially refused, Balian swore not only to fight to the death, but also to destroy the Dome of the Rock, one of the most sacred sites of Islam, if the Sultan did not offer terms. So Sibylla's freedom was guaranteed and the Christians within the city walls were allowed there to purchase their freedom. Oh, so the threat that was used in order to get him to accept the surrender was what? T O D E S that's right T R to D T R go for the O we're gonna do destroy you can do it. Touch the O. Go on, touch it. Touch the O. O and Y. The threat was to destroy something that was an important part of Islam um, culture. To destroy, what was it called? To destroy the D, O. Very good, M. E, the dome to destroy the, mm. the dome and I'll just tell you it was of the rock. Let's just do another little bit of practice because you did so well before. It was the dome of the rock. We're just going to spell rock on here and we're going to mirror it onto the flat board. Just for a little bit of skill practice. So touch R. Touch R on here. Now straight on there, touch R. Uh, 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 up, up, up. That's it. Now O. Straight to the O. O, 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 not E, O. O. Touch the O. There. Now C. Come on. Touch the C on here. And then straight on here. C, C. Touch C. Oh, suddenly you've lost your focus. Touch it again here. C, now C. C, there, where my finger is. C, that's A. C, okay. I can see. Just do a K for me. Go on, but just, just finish it off. Do the K. K on here. K and on there. K, 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 there. Ooh, that was a bit. Touch the K on there. There, very nicely done. Rock. Okay, all right, we'll take a pause there because I can see that you're a little bit tired and we'll go and get some lunch. Let me make a note um, where we were up to. For all of this, Jerusalem was lost and Sibylla was a queen without a kingdom. So I'll put a little cross to say that's where we're up to and then we can carry on with this. It's very interesting. Why don't you go get some lunch and see if that helps to get you going a bit more.